Okay, Louisiana Beer Review Taste Challenge number one. In the past, people have told me, how do you know Bud Light, Coors Light, Miller Light, Paps Light, etc. tastes different? You say you can tell the difference, how do you really know? And my answer was, well, I guess I don't really know. How would I know unless I did a side-by-side? -side. And I saw Darwin, Dar, his, he did one the other day, and I thought it was very interesting. So I said, well, hey, let me see if I can do it. I had to shut the wind in the doors, the windows and the doors, because they were cutting wood with a skill saw. And that's going to make a lot of noise. You can probably still hear it. I went to racetrack, and I bought two 18-ounce bottles, and I could only get the 12 ounce of cores because um, they were out of 18-ounce bottles. And I didn't feel like going ride to shell and the other stores looking for it, even though I paid $1.39 for this, and it would have been $1.39 had they had the 18 ounce. This was $1.49 for the Bud Light, and the Miller Light was $1.39. Bud Light always seems to be a little bit more expensive. Now, if I'd have bought Old English 800 or Ice House, it would have been $1.19. If I'd gone to Kenner, it would have been $0.99 cents a bottle for Schlitz malt liquor and Old English 800 18 ounce bottles 99 cents okay so what I did was I put a little notification at the bottom of what they are so I'm gonna pour them and then we're gonna mix them all up and see if I can tell the difference so Coors Light says good till July 28th I mean Miller Light good till July 28th this is the original light beer I see some smoke they say we invented light beer well not really it's true, light beer from Miller came out in 1973 after it had been bought from Meisterbrow by Miller in 1972. Nicely hiss and smoke. <clears throat> so it was originally Meisterbrow Light, or Light from Meisterbrow, L-I-T-E, which came out in the late 1960s, but then Meisterbrow uh, went out of business, where well, they started to go out of business, and Miller bought them for a steal, and they... Whoa, really nice hiss here. And they saw the potential, a lot of smoke, of light. And they repositioned it as a sports fans beer, guys drinking beer at a bar, whereas Meisterbrow was trying to market it as a women's diet beer. If you look at their old ads, it was like a health drink. Didn't go over that well. Well, I did with some women that were into exercise and that kind of thing. That's what the Michelob Ultra does today, right? Focus on the health aspects. Okay, um, Coors Light is the second here, came out 1978, people nicknamed it the Silver Bullet, <clears throat> and then they saw that that nickname was getting so popular so they adopted the nickname the Silver Bullet. Budweiser Light came out 1982, people called it Bud Light, so the company decided how, let's just or heck, let's just <laughs> give it that name, and they officially renamed it Bud Light in 1984. So, two of the three beers here do not go by their original name. Light by Miller, originally Meisterbrow Light, Coors Light, and Budweiser Light now, Bud Light. Okay, uh, Bud Light is the most popular beer in the world today. It is even more popular than Budweiser, which used to be number one. Coors Light still very popular, and so is Miller Light. Okay, um, well, you can see that the Coors Light did not retain any head. The Miller is still got its head and that lacing, which Miller beers tend to have that lacing, and then the Bud Light is more bubbly. So <laughs> I'm trying to let them go down so that I don't... Um, you know, guess by looking at them um, and, and being tipped off by that. So uh, I'm going to try to mix them up and um, I'm not going to look at them. I'm not even going to look at the beer when I sip it because I don't want to be tipped off by the appearance. So this looks unwieldy and strange and it is unwieldy and strange. So. Uh, Okay, I can't remember which is which. I've mixed them up enough. Let's go with this one first. I'm going to open the windows. I don't even care if the skill saw is going off. It's too warm in here. 
I need some breeze. Okay, this first one here, just excuse the noise, I'm sorry, but they're doing that house next door, they're working on it. Okay, uh, this one has a sweetness, some graininess, some maltiness there. got a full aroma, fuller than normal for light beer, which is making me think this is Coors Light, but I don't know that. Okay, this one here. <sighs> Not as much of an aroma. <sighs> it's got some pungent smell, sweetness, <sighs> maybe a little egginess. This has got to be the chorus because it's got no head. This one. <sighs> also sweetness, graininess, Maybe a rice. Okay, I'm going to mix them up again because that's got to be cores. Because <laughs> I noticed it didn't have a head first. But I'm going to mix them up again and I promise this time I'm not going to look. This is an imperfect thing. This is a semi-blind taste test because I really need somebody coming in here mixing them up for me. But I think I'm doing a good enough job. I'm getting kind of confused now. I'm getting a little, getting a little mixed up. I can't guess which hat the baseball's under. I don't think. Okay, so I'm not gonna look. Let's go with the flavor. There's a noticeable flintiness here. It's got that Budweiser ice pick through the forehead yeast thing going there. It's got rice, like my mother used to make rice with butter. I think this first one is Bud Light. I'm going to put it over here far to my left. Next one. I think this one has that corn adjunct. This one I'm not wearing this Budweiser cap and hat to show preference. I just bought them and I wanted to show them off. Um, this one here, the third one. Oh, needless to say, they all have a light body and a crisp, clean, and refreshing finish. This one has that slight sourness, slight, and I mean it's slight, that Coors Light has, that I like. It's the yeastiness. By the way, each beer is 4.2% alcohol. Miller Light is 96 calories, Coors Light is 102 calories, and Bud Light is 110. So Coors Light is the lightest for dieting. <laughs> okay, I think that one is Bud Light to the far left. Let me look. Coors Light. Nah, I think this one is the Miller Light. It is! And I think this one is 
the Coors Light, right? It's Bud Light. So I got two out of three wrong. <laughs> I was only 33% correct. What does that prove? You can't really taste the difference. At least this time I couldn't. Oh, I feel so played. I don't really feel played because all I ever said was, I think I can tell a difference. I never said, I guarantee I can tell a difference. But in the past, I remember in the 90s, I would say, well, it all tastes the same. Why don't you just go with price? Now, that still is my main contention, that light beers tend to taste so similar. Why don't you just look for price? Now, you can say, yeah, but you did the three good light beers, Miller, Coors, and Budweiser. The premiums, you didn't do Bush Light, uh, Miller High Life Light, and uh, oh, uh, Milwaukee's Best Light. That's true. Or Keystone Light. So I might have to do those side by side. So with my eyes closed taste, tasting them, there were some differences. I got the differences wrong as far as who it was. Um, but the, the, the differences were not profound. They were subtle. <coughs> and... Um, I couldn't really tell them apart, obviously. Here's some old comic books. Hulk Giant, size number one. Incredible Hulk. Incredible Hulk King, size special number one. With the great John Starenko cover. And that was Gil Kane on that cover. And here is... I thought that was Sal Basima and Mitchell. The Hulk vs. Quasimodo from 1982. This was a weird one-shot edition. I don't know why they had him fight the Hunchback from Notre Dame, but they did. Hunchback of Notre Dame. Anyway, thank you for watching this rather bizarre video production. It's fun, though.